Hey you guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then thanks for dropping in by my channel. And if you know me from my recent videos and recent past, then you no more introduction is literally needed. So I will start with the video. And in today's video, today I thought like I will be doing a series. Like there will be next uh, videos that will be coming up next in this series. The series will have like six videos because I will be playing this in this series with the color pop eyeshadow palettes which i got like this one this dream big collection there they have like six shadows like this which i will be showing you to in the process of this video so yeah in the series i will be playing with the color pop shadows and this series will be known as the color pop eyeshadow series which will have six videos and in this eyeshadow palette there are like some interesting eyeshadow palettes with all the beautiful colors and today in this video i'm going to play with uh, this palette from the kit which is called it's my pleasure palette and this palette has some like magnificent purple shades these are like uh, this one with a beautiful mirror like a good quality mirror over here and so yeah keep on watching this video and without any further introduction and stuff i will love to start my video but before starting this video i was just want to say you one thing that if you want to socialize with me behind this youtube channel then my insta link is at the red polo me and scroll mimi it's a given down there and in the description box too so if you, if you want then you can go and give me a follow and we can socialize over there and no more introduction no more blabbering i will just start the video so let's first start with doing my brows and for my brows today I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Chromate. It's in the shade Chocolate. Today I'm going to use my Sigma E45 brush. It's this one. It looks like this. Please ignore because it has already toned out from here and yeah. And now I'm done with my brows so I'll head on to my eyelids and to like eradicate the discoloration and the darkness going on to my eyelid I'm going to use like a concealer you can use an eyeshadow base or a concealer whatever you have in your hand so today I'm going to use um, two of my favorite concealers it's um, a pack concealer it's this one it's pack spotlight ready concealer it's in the shade is 03 and this one is my favorite um, Maybelline fit me concealer it's in the shade 25 so today I'm going to use both because this is more of my skin tone so which is going to like uh, remove the discoloration like cancel out the discoloration and stuff and then i will be using it as like a brightening effect on my eyes because i want my eyeshadow colors to pop out even more so yeah so this is what i'm going to do now i mainly have discoloration on like this area of my eyes and others are pretty like okay but yeah i do have So now when I'm done with concealing my eyelid, I'm going to go towards my eyeshadow palette and out of all the six palettes which I've got, I'm, today I'm going to start with this one. This palette is known as, it's my pleasure palette. It's like a purple palette and you guys know how much I love playing with the purple color. There is one red one, the orange one, the yellow one, the green one and the blue one. So there are all the palettes out there. So I will start doing my makeup series using those palettes one by one which will be lined up after one of one video after another so this is how the series is going to happen so first i will be playing with this one and then you get this palette there you get a beautiful mirror so taking the shade pretty cruel from this palette like this one onto my brush like this and then i'm just uh, going to put it onto my transition oh pigmented man this just blends like a butter you know like so creamy and so pigmented and so like soft and smooth and i am not like doing um like a lot or much to blend this i'm just like playing with my brush you can say 
So now when I'm done with that shade, I'm going towards this shade which is called Slipper with this one over here and I'm just going to darken up my crease with that color and to do that I'm going to take a smaller brush I'm basically darkening up my crease because later on I am going to do a cut crease so I need my crease to be more defined now going back to my old brush which I use to do my transition with no product I'm not again dipping it I'm not doing that I'm with whatever it's left in my brush and even if nothing is left just like blending the because this is more of a fluffy brush so I'm diffusing the edges and now when I'm done with uh, blending the shadows together I'm going to cut my crease and to cut my crease I'm going to take my favorite cut crease concealer which is my PAX Spotlight Concealer it's in the shade 03 it's such a good concealer for cut crease looks now taking this color checklist from this palette and I'm just going to put it onto the outer corner of my eyes I'm just placing the shadow onto the outer corner and now I'm diffusing the like the outer layer with the crease color because again blending should be on point so now and now when I'm done with this shade I'm going to go towards like a this, this shade this one over there And now when I'm done with this purple shade over here, which I put this one and now I'm going to use like this color over here and I'm just going to fill in the empty part onto the, this triangle of my eye. So I'm going to do that. So now I'm done with my upper lid so I'll go towards my lower lid and for my lower lid first I will be putting on some cold pencil. Today I'm using my Lacme Iconic pencil. It's in the shade of black. I'm just going to use this pencil and I'm going to like tightline my waterline. Now when I'm done with putting on the cold pencil, I'm just going to blend that cold pencil using this color over here. This. Now when I'm done with uh, smoking out that uh, cold pencil, that black cold pencil with this color sleeper, I'm just going to dig into this uh, beautiful pink color over here which is called kitten fit like this one. So now basically I'm done with putting on all the colors. So I'm done with the colors and the eyeshadow palette. So I have like kept it to side. So now the only thing which is left is the liner. And you guys know how much I love using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's this one and I'm just going to draw a nice liner using this liner. So now when I'm done with putting on my liner, I'm going to go towards my mascara and for my mascara, I'm going to use my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara, it's this one. So now when I'm done with my mascara also, so I'm going to go and put on some lashes and for my lashes, today I'm going to use my pack. 213 lashes they it's their tapered lashes it's not the mink one it's the tapered one so i will be putting it and then i will be right back so now when i'm done with putting on my falsies i will go on towards my face and to start my face first i will be hydrating and moisturizing my face because in such a dry cold weather moisturization is very much needed but before going on to the moisturization part i'm just going to take a fluffy brush and i'm just going to clean the my under eye area just to ensure that there is no more fallouts onto this part because since I did my eyes before, so I might have got some fallout which I am like dusting off right now. So when I am done with that, I'm going to moisturize my face. And to moisturize my face, I'm going to use my, my Face Shop Chia Sheet 
I'm going to use my Face Shop Chia Sheet Hydrating Lotion. It's one pump and two pump. And then I'm just going to blend it with my fingers. So now when I'm done with putting on the hydrating lotion on my face, I am going to go towards my primer and for my primer today I'm going to use some um, I'm going to use my NYX Professional Studio Perfect Primer. I'm just dabbing it onto my skin. And now when I'm done with the primer, I'm going to go towards my foundation. And for my foundation, today I'm going to use um, one of my high-end brand foundation. Another will be my drugstore foundation. Both are my absolute favorite. And you guys know how much I love mixing my foundation. So today also I will be going to I will be mixing my foundation. This one is Amarate in the shade 310G, and this one is 6.5 DW. So I'm going to take both in the back of my hand, one drop of that one, and maybe a half of this one. Not a full pump, cause this the Huda one is too pigmented and like too full coverage one so yeah this is how it is looking right now so I'm going to blend it mix it with my fingers like this and I'm just going to put it all over my face and now taking my flat foundation brush I'm just going to dab this foundation on my skin Now taking my beauty blender, I'm just dabbing the foundation into my skin because I just want it to sit properly in my skin. And now when I'm done with dabbing the foundation into my skin and I'm happy with how it is looking right now, I'm just going to go towards my concealer and for my concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer, it's in the shade 25. Now what I love doing is at this point I just uh, go and take my MAC Fix Plus spray and I spray some onto my beauty blender and then I just start dabbing it in my skin because if you do it like this then you are making your like a concealer stay even longer. And now when I'm done with the foundation and the concealer, I'm going to go towards my bronzer and I'm just going to bronze my face and put on some little highlighter and then I will be done. And for my bronzer, I'm going to use my NYX Professional Matte Bronzer. It's in the shade medium and you guys know how much I love using this bronzer. And this bronzer is now like this. You can see I have dug a hole inside it. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it into this bronzer and I'm just bronzing my face. I'm not going to contour it today. I'm just, I will just bronze it. So at this point when I'm done with the bronzer, I'm going to go and highlight my face and for my highlighter, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty 3D Highlights palette and I'm just going to use uh, this highlighting shade over here. Um, from the same palette, I'm just going to take uh, this uh, blush shade over here. So now when I'm done with my entire face, it's like entirely done. So the only thing I'm left with is my, are my lips. I'm going to put on some lipstick, but first I'm going to line my lips and for my lip liner, I'm going to use my face. Faces lip contour, it's this one, it's in the shade Red Hottie. I'm just going to... So now when I'm done with putting on the uh, lip liner, I'm just going to go and put on my lipstick which is this shade from Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. It's called Girlfriend. It's this one. And, and then I'm going to mix it with my NYX a Professional Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's in the shade Los Angeles and I'm just going to put this both for a nice nude lips.
So now basically I'm done with my entire face and my lips. So I'm going to go behind the camera and I'm just going to like uh, do something with my hair. Like I'm just going to comb it properly and then I will be right back. So now I'm back after like uh, combing my hair a bit properly. So this is how my makeup has turned out to be. I hope you have enjoyed watching the entire tutorial. I have tried to make this tutorial super easy i just uh, kept on putting on some shades of eyeshadow and i have tried to explain you guys everything thoroughly why i am doing this what are the things that are to be done and step by step and i have tried to like explain all the techniques and if you once get hold of all the techniques of how to put on the shadows and stuff and all then any look you just you can do any look and every look is going to be super easy for you guys so this is it so i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and this tutorial is going to help you in your life and your career and your makeup journey so if you have enjoyed watching this video do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do please subscribe to my channel and help your girl grow so your support means a lot to me. So I will be back next day with yet another more interesting video. Till then take care and keep it glam.